So how do you enlarge low resolution mid journey images into print ready masterpieces for free? Here's how. Hi, welcome back to another Tuesday tech tip. This video is the next in my mid journey AI image generator series. So if you've not gotten started with mid journey yet, check out the link here or in the description below. I've also created a step by step printable guide to go alongside this video for you to follow along yourself. You'll find the link to that in the description box too. So you've had a go with mid journey and you've created some really cool looking images, but when you download them, they're just a little bit too pixelated. The resolution you get even from an upscaled image is really small and it's just not suitable for any kind of print outcome. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you a tool that helps you to enlarge any low resolution image so that it can be printed up to 10 times its original size. And it's absolutely free and it's got no dodgy signups either. Now, before we get going, I'd really like to thank you for taking the time to watch my videos. I know that there's other creators out there that you could be following and I really do appreciate it. Currently though, 98% of the visitors to my channel aren't subscribed yet. So if you're one of those, I'd really appreciate it if you could just take two seconds to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell. It means the absolute world to me and it really helps to grow the channel and get my videos to a larger audience. So enough of that. If you're ready, let's jump in. So we start off in the Discord app and we go to our mid journey bot here. And then you can see these sort of images that I've been creating just lately. And I really like this set at the bottom, particularly the top left hand image one here. So I've used the upscale button to upscale the image to this. So what we can do now is click on it and then open it in the browser. And you can see the image there, it looks quite nice. I'm really, really pleased with the outcome of this one. If we right click it and we're gonna save image as, and we're gonna download it. So let's open it up in Photoshop so we can see the image dimensions straight from mid journey. So there's our image. If we go to image, image size, we can see that it's 1,344 pixels by 1,024 at 72 DPI. So if we okay that, so let's just zoom in to see when it starts to pixelate. And you can see there now that the image is pixelated. You've got like the kind of rough edges to it. Now this just wouldn't be good enough quality to turn into a print or a t-shirt or something like that. So we really need to get that quality up and enlarge the image at the same time, which is no easy feat because we're basically creating pixels from nothing. So let's head over to nightmare AI forward slash real dash s s regan i don't know how you pronounce it but that so what we do now is we go over to the image upload button here and we click it and we upload our space ape and as you can see it's uploaded straight into it and we're going to scale it right the way up to 10 times its size. And then we click submit. Now it doesn't take too long. It's just starting to run its program. And now the image is loading quite quickly there. So there you go. So already I can see more definition in the gorilla's face. So then we click the download button. It opens up in a new browser window. And then we can right click that and save image as. And we'll keep it as output. So once that's downloaded, let's open that up into Photoshop. So there we go. So we go to image, image size. So now we can see that it's 13,440 pixels by 102,040. So 10 times as big. If we okay that and we zoom in, you can see how much of the detail is in there. Fantastic, that zoomed right in there. So let's zoom back out again. And just to show you how big it is, I'm gonna create an A2 size document which is, you know, this sort of size. 
Let's have a look and see how big it is when we drop it on that. So file new. And A2 is 594 by 420. So let's create that. We go to our output image, pull it over to the side. Using our move tool, we just drag and drop it onto the new document. And we can close our other one out. And if we zoom out, we can see that the image itself, if we go to image, image size, this is 300 pixels per inch, which is print quality, and it's A2 in size. And the image itself is bigger than that A2 canvas that we've just created. If I press Control and T for free transform, you can see how much bigger it is. So we can reduce that image back down a little bit so that we keep it as A2. About there, bit up a bit. Just crop that in a little bit. Just nudge that down. And there we go. We've got an A2 size image that could be printed as a small poster. We could upload that to a print on demand service like Redbubble and get a selling. And the quality is fantastic. This is absolutely amazing. As you can see, it's a super simple tool that will come in really handy for anyone wanting to enlarge a low res image particularly if you're looking to upload your work onto t-shirts and stuff like that with a print-on-demand service. I hope it comes in handy, and if you found this video useful, please give it a like, and I'll see you again for another Tuesday Tech Tip. So how do you enlarge your low-resolution mid-journey? So if you've not gotten started... So if you've not got... So if you've not... Oh my God, what's wrong? I've also created a step-by-step -step printable guide to go...